hello guys welcome back to prospect Canex tv thank you for this coming out here if you're just joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up the former military head of state general yakubu gowan has reflected on nigerian civil war emphasizing that it was never his wish to engage in conflict in a video recently shared on YouTube by TVC, Gowan clarified that the decision to fight the civil war wasn't rooted in hatred, but a response to the challenging political circumstances at the time. Gowan stressed that the crucial choice was between maintaining Nigerians' unity or facing disintegration. He said, during that period, this focus was on preserving the nation, expressing a deep commitment to Nigerians' greatness. He ascertained his belief in the country and underscored the importance of keeping Nigeria intact. In Gowan's words, it was not my wish or intention to fight the civil war. It is not a hatred against any people, but the political situation at the time was such that it got to the point where it is either Nigeria remained one country or not. And as I always said during that time, if the question of breaking Nigeria is not part of our discussion, we will review everything in order to make sure that Nigeria survived and be a great country. I am a great believer in Nigeria. Okay. So, can we now say that Nigeria is what? Can we now say that with all that happened, is Nigeria one? No, we have been pretending all this why. Nigeria had never been one. You understand? This one Nigeria of 18 is a scam. We don't love each other. That is the truth. You have not told us the truth. You went to Abri. Ghana with Ojuku and settled for restructuring which was called the Aburi Accord which would have made Nigeria great. <laughs> it had nothing to do with disintegration. Please, before you die, tell us the truth on what made you change your mind after you agreed before General Akara of Ghana that peace has been restored. Who called you to change your mind? Nigeria was murdered like Great Britain by the Abri Accord. How can you reject such an agreement and opt for war? Until the day you tell us the truth of what really happened, there will not be peace for you and you will not die but live to see the consequences of the action of rejecting Abri Accord. So, since after fighting for one Nigeria now, can we say Nigeria is one? If you have succeeded in forcing Nigeria to be a great country, even up to now, as you claimed, you are, see, you are just hurting for reasons to justify your actions. Only you and your associations know why you altered for war after the Abri Accord. There are so many things these people are not telling us. And it's just like, uh, they don't care even when they will die with it. That is the truth. It's already too late. That is it. It's just already too late. Uh, go and cry your own cry. Now it's time for Nemesis upon you. Thank God you are alive witnessing what you sold. Someone just dropped that. When you meet your creator, you will tell when you meet your creator, you will tell him why you you reneged on Abri Accord. Okay? Why the Asaba geno genocide? Why the abandoned property saga on your regime? Why the 20 euro to all the account holders of the Igbo extraction? 
you have a lot to answer. You have a lot of answers to give to God. Happily, the pictures will be clear to you then. So what has the evil has not forgiven you? You deny even up to late hour, God will not forgive you. God used Koran to preserve the southern minorities. You remember Isaac, Adaka, Boro? Okay. You remember Ken Sarowiwa, the, the four? These are reactions from Nigerian soul. This is to put talk from a wicked soul. It was making useless comment as if they are sent. Reactions are getting tougher. Now, now you're okay. Okay, I beg. Let me just leave that one. You can't go back. <laughs> you can't go back to the past. But have you, for once, speaking against injustice being done to those you fought to bring back to Nigeria since after the war? Or was this the original plan for the war to subdue and divide them? I hope the country is united, sir. Go and answer that before your maker. All our leaders shall stand before God to give account. Now God is nowhere judging no one. No one is judging no one. Only God will judge you. Karma is at work in everyone. At least I know it's a circle. It's always come around. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. I beg, kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.